Hello Scorpio. It's time for your mid-June to July reading of this current year. Because I almost forgot what I was going to say. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I hope you guys are doing well. Let's see what's happening. Just remember, if it doesn't resonate with you, no worries. It's just a card game. If it does resonate with you, good deal. More than welcome to let me know, of course. Like, I don't mind. Sexy man. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So, Scorpios. See what's going on with you. We got three of wands reverse. Not waiting for something. We got the chariot right here. Could be cancer. Not being able to move forward. Probably starting fights and shit. We got the Queen of Wands, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, the Fears and Rejections, the Magician or the Starman in the situation, King of Swords, Reverse in the Obstacles and Challenges coming against you, and the Four of Cups in the Catalyst as well as the Final Result, what started this and what ended it. And the beginning theme is the Four of Swords. Not one thick shit, not ready to recover from things, you know, all that jazz and all that jazz, you know. Oh, it's wrong deck. My bad. Gave me new deck. I love this deck. This is a fun deck. It, 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 I have to say, it's very um, communicative the way I'm doing this with this deck. And they like the chatter. They very much like the chatter. And I appreciate that very well. And they feel really nice in my hands, too. Like, the imagery is, like, very astonishing. I like the images a lot, too. Okay, so... Three of Wands Reverse. Someone is no longer waiting on something. They are trying to manifest something in the situation. Could be Aries. You might not be waiting on a Cancer or a King of Swords. Oot. Yeah. Someone is trying to... Steal away into the night to make an offering somewhere else. I think because or they're trying to go to a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. Will anybody noticing them? Either way, an offer is being made elsewhere. And someone might be running. Someone's no longer waiting on this person. They're actually like going towards them silently, moving like an assassin of sorts, right? Uh, quietly coming in to do battle, I think. Taking flight like the birds do. They might be running away to go to this cancer who is like stuck on stuff and can't move forward and battling terribly and like kind of losing control of themselves when it comes to like figuring out what is and is not the best of situations of course starman reverse someone manifested something here and it's like, okay, the, pretend this is like a dream, because this is a Nine of Cups. This is what it would be normally reversed, right? Because this side is like, oh yeah, I got everything I wished for. This one is like, someone is dreaming, but it came up reversed like this. So it's like, someone's dreaming of the impossible. Or it, 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 it's just something they know that, that they're trying to manifest something that is more like an ideal than anything, you know. Possibly dealing with them and somebody they cared about before the six cups right there on top. 
We got this cherry reverse. Could be a cancer just looking to fight people for no reason. Be rude. Um, someone wants to go out and battle, not for a victory, but just for blood. They got a bloodlust to them. I think. They're incapable of, like... They want to move and like leave these cuts behind to rust and rot and be forgotten, but it's like they can't do that. It's like um, they're trying too hard. Like they're trying too hard to move forward, and that's causing them to like uh, stick around for longer than what they actually intended. You know, it's kind of like um, it's kind of like manifestation thing. Like if you keep saying, oh, I really want this, or I really want that, or I don't want this to happen, or I don't want that to happen, the universe will make it true. Like, you know, like, oh, I don't want to keep chasing these dreams. Okay. So you do want to keep chasing these dreams. Because, I don't know, the, the universe is weird. Like, because when you tell it that you want something, apparently it doesn't understand that what that means, English or otherwise. Because then it's just like, oh, okay, so you want to continue doing this thing or else you wouldn't keep wanting to want it. It's like you have to drop your desire for something in order to get it. Which, I don't know, that's be it's beyond my human scope because it's just like, well, then what's the point of wanting it to begin with? If you're not supposed to want it, but, you know, I'm just being particular right now. Let's see. Now, like, yeah, it feels like, yeah. Uh, okay. King of Swords reversed, Scorpio. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, someone with a badass attitude. He says really mean things. I think the, like, the obstacle and challenge here is trying to deal with your... Or this could be Crosswatch or whoever else is involved in this. Um, the obstacle here is to get over your nasty attitude and actually do something to create some balance. You want to burn shit here, but you also got to keep life and sustain it here. Or else, you know, it's not going to be... Like, you got to learn to balance out, like, all the bad with the good. Like, sure, you, it makes you mad when po people probably lie to you and shit. But you kind of got to work that out with yourself. Now, what's going to, now? Your fears and rejections. Queen of Wands could be a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries right here. Very, very impatient. Total bitch man. Being like, I want what I want, and I want it now. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry the fuck up. Right? She is demanding and uncaring. And it is like she's wa she has her guards watching you while you're trying to have a good time with your pet horse. Little do you know that she might take that horse and force you to eat it at the dinner table later because you didn't pick your socks up from off the ground. You know, like, ooh, yeah. Yeah, like, these are the two people mainly in the relationship, too. One person is just being rude and considerate, just being like, you know what, I don't want to deal with your shit anymore. And the more feminine side is the one who just can't produce anything, and it's like, the devil's just letting them argue between each other. Just be like, yeah, I just got... It's like a Capricorn sitting between two loved ones having to listen to them bicker back and forth, and they gotta be the counselor, like, okay, just... Cause you just, all right, you know what? I'm just gonna let you guys argue about whatever, and I'm just gonna do whatever the fuck I want. I'm gonna get a sandwich. I'll be right back. It's like two people who just, like, one can't communicate and one can't manifest stuff, and they're both just in their emotions about it, and that's part of the loss with the Four of Cups. Like they're dealing with the loss right now, and they're gonna be dealing with the loss in the end too. And the problem is they can't just forget these cups ever existed. Like, they're not even buried treasure cups. They're like red solo cups that were spray painted. Someone's at a loss and way too afraid to, like, even 
go forward to this person who is uh, like a demon to him. Oh, jeez. That's a lot of cards. Oh, dear. Okay, so... A lot of cards. We will look over right quick like. Okay. Mm -mm. All right. So what we have here, along with um, a proposal, if you will, someone knows that they brought shit on themselves, and they're carrying all that shit all the way with them. Like they gotta keep on close that. Like look at the sun; it's eclipsed. Total eclipse in my heart. You know. Cancer Pisces Scorpio right here might have ran off with somebody else and someone's pretty pissed about it. Like, look at this person. Still standing there, much like the Queen of Wands, being like, you need to hurry up and get the fuck back into the house. Well, you, possibly Scorpio, are trying to get yourself a little bit more emotionally in, in check and in contact with yourself. Um, you're definitely willing, or this person, or whoever this is, is willing to um, battle their way for some sort of communication or truth and an effort to establish or understand what is and is not fair. Um, and there might be a tower moment avoided in order to um, mend broken hearts. God, that is terrifying. Oh, weird. Okay. What's the ending theme for you? Mm. It is... Okay. Ace of Wands. Ready to start something new like a brand new day. Even though you really don't want to think about it, though. Even though you're not entirely recovered, it's like you're ready to do stuff, but it's like... It, it, that bothers me. It's like you're sorrowful, yet you're afraid at the same time of whoever it is that you've been messing with. Like someone coming in to like, just be the devil and fuck with you and you're lying. And it's like you're not recovered from that yet. And it, you're kind of still mentally in that um, stranglehold right here, you know? And I feel like you're kind of like hiding your emotions as well. They're still there, still vibrant, but it's like you don't want to show them. And yeah. It's definitely a burden for you, as stated before, Scorpio. Hmm. You got a lot of stuff dealing with you. A lot of creepy shit, I have to say. Um, but this was your reading for mid-June to July of this current year. If you want a personal reading, like, my email is down below. I don't charge. I usually do PayPal for donations and, chip and tips, if you so choose. Thank you for watching my video and like, share, and subscribe if you want to. I love your face. Take care and I will see you later. Bye-bye.